prehistoric man It is said that early man evolved from ape-like creatures somewhere around 13 million years ago Many physical changes appeared during this period He could not stand in upright position and could balance the body weight His hands became free to pick up things like stone etc about 4 million years ago These developments changed his lifestyle to include a a switch to life in open country rock shelters b the beginning of cooperative hunting c addition of meat to the diet instead of exclusive vegetarian diet all these opened up new resources that is physical intellectual and social early man at this stage is called gatherer and hunter This age is called Stone Age. In this age, man used stones as his crude tools, weapons, and implements. There is no written record of this prehistoric age except the evidence of stone implements, tools, remains left by him, and habitation sites such as rock shelters. The Stone Age is divided into three periods: a Paleolithic age, Paleo. is a greek word means old lithic means stone 2 million years ago to 12000 years bce b mesolithic age middle age 12000 bce to 10000 bce c neolithic age new age 10000 bce to about 4000 bce the early man became a nomad or a wanderer He had to go from place to place in search of food as forest produce was seasonal and animals also moved in search of water and prey. Man being physically weak in comparison to the animals started collective hunting in small groups. At the time of need they helped each other also. Trivia China is a country with a long history. Over 1 million years ago The ancestors of Chinese nation had already lived and grown on this land creating a splendid culture to be continued the most typical primitives during the paleolithic age within china were the early homo erectus yuanmo man lantian man and peking man the early homo sapiens dinkan man and late homo sapiens upper cave man Paleolithic age in India About 2 million years ago man started using stone as weapon to protect himself and to hunt animals The Paleolithic remains have been found in many parts of the world like France Spain and China on the Indian subcontinent Such remains have been found in the Son River Valley Pakistan in Upper Narmada region Bhimbetka in Madhya Pradesh Nashik in Maharashtra and near Chennai tools the paleolithic tools were made by chipping hard stones they were of two kinds core and flake tools core tools these were made by chipping off pieces from pebbles or from stones of flint or quartz a type of hard rock the stone left after chipping is called core They were usually oval or pear in shape. The early man used them as hand axes for cutting trees, digging the earth and breaking bones. Flake tools. They were the broken off stone chips, a byproduct of core tools. Having sharp edges, they were used for chopping meat and skinning animals. Evolution of man and society in Paleolithic age. During this period the man's brain developed considerably after using stone implements a modern man has got two types of grips a power grip b precision grip it is the latter grip that sets man apart from other animals including apes the fully developed a possible thumb increased the accuracy of man's work the earlier evolution of man's brain occurred due to an interaction between activities of brain and hand during early paleolithic period 
the jungle man slowly became a social animal. Need for food and security brought them together. They hunted collectively and started living together in small groups. It appears that the family concept as it is today was not there as it is today. Children were looked after by the society. Probably at the same point of time, division of labor took place between men and women. The women became gatherers of forest produce such as seeds, roots, vegetables and fruits etc. They also looked after the children and the men, being physically stronger than women, took over hunting collectively. Collective hunting means collective skills also. A well-planned strategy was the only key to success in case of big animals. It required great discipline and understanding of signals and meaning of different local sounds of the fellow hunters. Thus, language and script evolved in due course of time. Dragon Hill Cave Shelter of Peking Man in China yielded bone remains of deer, rhinoceros and other mammals. The most important find within the site is the evidence of man's use of fire. Discovery of Fire After the first technological breakthrough, that is, the use of stone tools by man in primitive age, the other great discovery was fire. It is not known if man discovered fire by chance or accidentally. Perhaps as per his good luck, he got it as nature's gift due to fall of lightning on tree. Most probably, sparks appeared while chipping the stone tools caused burning of adjacent dry leaves. In course of time, while rubbing two pieces of stones or wood together, man accidentally discovered how to light a fire. He could now have fire whenever he wanted. This was a victory over nature. Fire became a crucial weapon in man's fight for survival in a harsh environment such as during the glacial phase. Ice Age It scared away ferocious animals like the lion and tiger and thus gave protection. Fire changed the life of primitive man. The heat destroyed harmful insects and bacteria which resulted in increase in his life expectancy and good health. Fire was the first wonder for primitive man who worshipped it as God. Cooking was probably an accidental discovery when inadvertently some meat dropped into fire. It turned out to be improved and palatable and not spoiled by heat. On the other hand, heat and broken away fibrous hard tissues of the meat and the roasted meat became tastier, digestive and nourishing too. Clothing The skin of the hunted animals became clothing of the primitive man who also used tree bark and leaves to cover his body. The clothes and hair were decorated with bird feathers, cave paintings. The cave shelters such as Bhimbetka, Madhya Pradesh were chosen by people to live in as they provided shelter from rain, heat and winds. The walls of the cave are generally covered with sketches, drawings and paintings. Scholars believe that cave paintings like that of the wounded or rocks may have been magical trap game while those of collected hunting were of educational nature for young generations. After seeing these paintings, one would say that primitive man was a good artist as wild animals were drawn with great accuracy and skill. Hunxi Site of South Hunxi, the Paleolithic site in Karnataka, is situated on the land between the river Krishna and Bhima. The Paleolithic people of Hunxi made hand axes, scrapers, knives, borers, etc. from locally available limestone. The region had several springs which possibly supplied water to the people who lived there. This site also suggests that during the dry season, people camped near water sources and hunted large animals 
that came for a drink. During wet season, they spread out in the region and depended on plants and small prey. Mesolithic Age The Mesolithic Age or Middle Stone Age began when the climate grew warmer at the end of the Paleolithic Age around 12,000 BCE. The favourable warm climate led to growth and increase in the variety of plants and animals. This in turn favoured human survival as hunting and gathering became easier. Under good climatic conditions, with plenty of plants and increased population of animals, the Mesolithic Age which began at about 12,000 BCE lasted up to 10,000 BCE. Mesolithic remains in India have been found at several places such as parts of central and western India, including Mysore in Karnataka. Much of the knowledge about their way of life has been derived mainly from three sources, that is, tools, cave shelters and cave paintings. Tools Early man continued the use of stone tools and implements but gradually improved them. Apart from that, Mesolithic man made smaller tools like microliths, micro means small. These are usually stone blades, 1 to 5 centimeters, can be fixed on wood or bone and used as spears, saws, knives and arrows. Bow and arrow were used to kill fast-moving animals, flying birds and distant animals. The tools of this period reflect a change in food habits. Food They observed the importance of seed when it is placed underground, watered and then within a short time, a new plant came out. This led to the development of agriculture. During Mesolithic age, man came to know about the magic link between seeds, soils, water and plant. He also started taking seeds from grass like plants of wheat, barley, rice, etc. and added them in his diet schedule. Vegetables and fruits were known to him since long time. Fish became the important menu in this age. Trivia The Atlil tool is a tool and weapon designed for throwing either a spear or dart, usually consisting of a rod or board, with a groove on the upper surface and a hook, thong or projection at the rear end to hold the weapon in place until its release. Its purpose is to give greater velocity and force to the spear. In use from prehistoric times, the spear thrower was used to efficiently fell animals as large as the mammoth. The atlil was probably invented around 1 lakh BCE, according to modern archaeologists. Rock painting The cave and rock paintings found in India generally belonged to the Mesolithic period. The colours were made from natural rock, minerals and available material. Generally, they are of red and white colour. These paintings depict various human activities of the period such as hunting, fishing, religious practices of black magic, few religious motives like swastik, trident, tribal dance and animal fight among themselves etc. It appears that tribal dances were performed in rituals or in happiness after finding a good hunt. Domestication The process that brought plants and wild animals under human control are called domestication. Man observed that seeds which were discarded or remained left out could grow again under favourable conditions. Man also noticed that some animals came near human habitations in search of leftover, discarded food. Probably, dog was the first animal to be tamed and domesticated by man. Undoubtedly, dog helped him in hunting and in keeping watch. Other animals like sheep, goat and cattle were also domesticated. These animals gave milk and served as a required food store of meat that may be used during need. Donkeys, horses, camels and elephants were used to carry heavy loads and used in transportation. 
all this led to animal husbandry that is rearing of animals the first riverside temporary settlements mostly people lived in cave shelters some came out of the cave to places where they sowed seeds during the time of harvest they stayed for some time in the temporary camps or settlements oval shaped huts were raised the walls were made of tree branches pushed down into the ground propped up by the stones around it on the banks of the river disposal of the dead the dead were buried along the offerings such as their belongings food and ornaments remains of human burial have been found at some mesolithic sites